Welcome back into the Sports Source, brought to you by Southeast Termite and Pest Control. Football season is here. The games are back. Tailgates are back. Our 10-person shows on the Sports Source are back. Oh, and uh, the Fall Invaders are back, too. Stink bugs, ladybugs, and box elder bugs, and you don't want them back. They want to winter in your house. Look, don't become a, an Airbnb for bugs. <laughs> Call Southeast Termite and Pest Control for their fall invader treatment. I use it every year. I used to get a billion ladybugs in my house. I used to get stink bugs on the windows. Started using their fall invader treatment. Maybe I see one. Maybe I see two. I mean, it's, it's night and day. SoutheastTermite.com to learn more. I can't recommend this highly enough. Fall invader treatment from Southeast Termite and Pest Control. All right, back with Jimmy, Sterling, Daniel. Sterling, uh, there's no Cavalier in this. No kidding. Right. <laughs> Bigger worry at this point, the quarterback or the receivers when it comes to this passing game? It's a hard one right there, John P. But I'm, I'm going to have to see the receivers. Um, you know, I, I've seen these guys play a lot better. A couple of them, uh, you know, I know are better. And if they get to their potential, I, I believe the offense will lift and it'll be hard to stop. So, um, how, how has, uh, I mean, Thornton got a ton of hype. Uh, Squirrel White, we know what he could do. We know what Ramiel Keaton could do. Brim McCoy, how have all four of the, how have the three guys we've seen taken a step back all at once? Because right now it looks like they have taken a step back. They, are, they aren't making plays to help Joe Milton out. And, and that's where I'm at with it, John P. You said it, they're doing it all at the same time. And when, is that ever, when does that ever happen in a passing offense when your guys are all you know, going backwards at the same time? So I, I'm looking forward to that moment. I hope it is this week, and you know me, they all take the step up at the same time, and we're hard to stop. Daniel, what's the bigger word, quarterback or receivers? I, I, I think I'm going to go with Sterling that it is the wide receivers, and I think we're understanding the importance of what Jalen Hyatt was to that room last year. Um, it was like when we had Eric Berry, like he made all of our corners and all of our secondary play so much better. Mm. Well, the next year after EB left, you had a significant decrease in all of our, our cornerbacks, and I think we're seeing that with our receivers right now because Milton's numbers let – they're not great, but, like, if you catch all those drop passes, you're yeah. still over 70%. You're still zero interceptions. You're still over 400, 500 yards of passing. Like, Jared Garantano years, we would have been amazed with that. Yeah. And so you have to – you want better play <laughs> out of your receivers. Jimmy, you agree with these guys that it's the receivers right now or is it no, quarterback? I'm going Joe Milton. Okay. And uh, I'm going Milton because – I think he's at the point now where if he doesn't throw a perfect pass, it's not going to be caught. Mm -hmm. He throws the ball so hard that if it's just not right there, they're not going to catch it. I thought Hendon Hooker threw a more catchable pass mm -hmm. than Joe. Joe throws it with such velocity, and I think that's going to get in his head. If I don't throw the perfect pass, they ain't catching it. And so I think it's more from Joe Milton's perspective, and I know he exudes this confidence about him, mm -hmm. but you know I don't care who you are. I remember when Tiger Woods was having trouble making a five-foot putt. It affects yeah. your confidence. Yeah. I think that's, that's my concern with, with him is the confidence level and the fact that right now I think he feels like I've got to throw a perfect pass or it's not going to be called. Here's the other thing. Mm -hmm. Saw it on the message boards. Knew it was coming. Saw it on the message boards. <laughs> uh, was listening to you this morning. You took it on a text line with your, your radio show. You had Todd yeah. Kelly Jr. on there today. Yeah. Um, it's time to go to Nico. You're starting to get people saying – if Milton doesn't play well at Florida, go to Nico. You started saying, how long is Heupel going to do this? He knows that Milton's not going to win us games. Mm -hmm. We've got to go to Nico. That isn't going to help matters. If, no, if, no, he doesn't, no. if he doesn't play spectacularly at Florida and everybody's talking about Nico, 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 I don't think that – talk about confidence. That'll be a hit on his confidence. We had a guy that wanted Nico in in the, uh, in the second half. Put him in, second half. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's Joe Milton's team, and it should be his team now. If there is a disaster that comes down the road, okay. Fine. But not – I don't think we're close to that. I don't either. It is, this is Joe's team. I mean, you know, this, this is Joe's team, period. Um, you know, I, I remember back in, uh, you know, 1998 when it was a big scream to put somebody else in over T. Big scream. <laughs> and, uh, you know. It's Joe's that worked team. out. Hey, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That worked out. So uh, this is Joe's team, and Joe is the man, and he'll get better, and the whole offense will get better, and I'm excited. One thing I was thinking about yesterday was the fact that uh, the receivers, 
Um, could they all be going south because it's, it's the placement of the ball? Is, I mean, it is one guy versus four guys who aren't living up to it. But what brought me back to saying, no, I think it's the receivers, probably both, but I think the receiver, mm -hmm. because penalties on three different guys mm -hmm. yesterday, a fumble, it's not just they're not catching the ball. Mm -hmm. It's not just, you know, the placement isn't great, throwing it too hard. They're not doing anything really well right now. They're blocking well when they don't get called for holding. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. That's great. <laughs> All right, let's uh, very quickly on this next question. It is a concern. If you wind up in a close game at Florida, and remember, two weeks ago, well, heck, a week ago, nobody was even thinking about the possibility of a close game at Florida. You'll kill them. Maybe you do. But if it's a close game, special teams are going to be a concern. You have already had three shanked punts this year. You have mm -hmm. already had three kickoffs out of bounds. How in the world are you kicking off out of bounds three times in two games? What's the biggest worry of those two, Jimmy? I'm going to say it's kicking off out of bounds because the punter is now going to punt with his left, left foot. foot. That's right. <laughs> so that's what I'm going with. Okay. You, can, you can correct that. You've solved that issue. Yeah, you can, yeah, I've solved it. Yeah, you can correct that. You can't correct his kicking out of bounds stuff. <laughs> that's, that's, that's scary it. stuff. Daniel, which bigger concern to you? i got to go with the punts because at least to kick off out of bounds, they're going to get it like the 40, 45. Some of the punts 35. in the Virginia – or 35. Some of the punts at the Virginia game – we kicked it from our side, and they get the ball on our side of the 50 in yeah. field goal range already. Punt so, with the right foot. Yeah, no. punt with the right foot. <laughs> but you uh, got to switch it up. Sir, what's bigger concern? The kickoffs or the punts? <laughs> Coming from a quarterback, my biggest concern is the kickoff. Just kick the ball in bounds. Just, tell me, just keep it on the field. You can control that. You can, instead of taking three steps to run the kick, it, take one step. You can carry the handle that. The punt game, I'm not worried about. We don't need the punter. We're going to score every time we got the rock. Yeah, that, baby. Uh, <laughs> that, that's as close to a scolding as you'll ever hear from Sterling Hinton. Just kick the ball inbound. All right. Good job, guys. Uh, when we come back, what is Chuck thinking about the Cavaliers line? He's got it ready to reveal, but... How do you get there? We'll talk a little bit about Tennessee's depth at this point. Also, Josh Ward's going to be out here trying to scoreboard watching for us. And if you haven't noticed, it doesn't look to be a great year for the SEC. Yeah, that's a good thing for Tennessee. Come on back on the Sports Source.